Hi foodies, I want to share with you one of my childhood comfort food. Yep, that's Bodhi and tomatoes fried on nice with some fried moko with fried roti. So come on into my kitchen and let's put this lovely comfort food together. So here foodies, I have Bodhi. I know a lot of you know what this is. Long bean, yard bean, snake beans is very long and nice. I give it a good little wash here. So I want to just cut the tip of it off. And this steams very well. So I kept it intact so I could cut all the top and the bottom off. So there you go. Everything is all cut nicely. And I'm going to be using one ripened tomato. Let's put that on the side. So I just like to hold them all together and give them a nice little cut. There you go. Here is our body and tomato. So freeze in here. I always freeze my stuff when I get them on sale. So here I have some chili or boot pepper, as you all will know it. I'm going to be using that. And I have a couple of Riri peppers I got here from my good friend, Mr. Vidal. This is from his garden. I'm going to put that in also. I'm going to freeze this back. And in here, you all know my sofrito, which is all those green herbs. Drop that in there. And my peppers. Drop that in there. So here I have my onion. You could use whatever onion you have. I'm using this red, lovely onion here. This is two onions and this looks marvelous and here is that peppers and i'm going to be using some ginger garlic paste now if you have fresh ginger go ahead and fresh garlic you go ahead okay foodies so in my beautiful clay pot it's all up to heat i want to add a little bit of coconut oil some black mustard seed that's going to come up beautiful so i'm going to just leave it in there and i'm going to be adding all my onion my pepper and it's going to come up to heat. And so let's also go in with our ginger garlic paste. There you go. Add that right in there. Okay, foodies, let's take a look now. That's a lovely fry in there. So I am happy with that. I want to add some chili pepper here. Powder, chili powder. And now let's just add everything that we already cut up. Our sofrito and peppers. Our tomato, tomatoes and bodhi. There you go. Drop all of that in there. We're going to add just a little touch of salt, a little bit of kosher salt. I know we're going to need more. Or if you have some vegetable base, you could also add that in there. I'm going to give it a good mix. Wow, I can't wait to eat this. I love this so much. This was one of my favorite growing up as a child. I like it to open the roti and just pull it inside it and just bite and eat. <laughs> Take a look now. Okay, this looks marvelous. So let's. Oh yeah, this is my green seasoning, all melt away really nicely. I just want to add a little crayfish powder. I just love the taste of uh, fish and tomato and this body. So let's leave this open now. Okay, let's take a look now. Now this is all done. This is how I like it. All fried really nicely and very simple. Just back up your body and tomato like so and raise, touch your pot and all that oil is going to come down. And we're going to use that oil to cook another lovely dish here from Jenny's Walk. So here I have some moko. How many of you know this moko plantain? Just give it a good wash. This is one of my childhood favorite also. You're just going to nip the top and the bottom. Let's give it a little slice. And you just peel it open just like so. And I'm only cutting this in two. Granny is only cut it in two because it's not very thick, you see. Look at that. Just one and two pieces. And we're going to put it in a plate. And what she did was just rub a little bit of salt on both sides there you go that's it and we're going to give this a nice little fry so here you go we're getting a lovely fry i don't think this is the one like what i know back in trinidad when i was a kid this one this is a little different but let's continue and fry this up lovely the lovely golden brown here moko so foodies here i have one and a half tablespoonful of cornmeal so what i want to do i want to wash my cornmeal so this is what you're going to do I'm going to turn it off now and you're just going to play around there you go you see stuff is coming up already and let all that cornmeal settle to the bottom there you go this is exactly what i'm looking for now you see what you're seeing to the top all those little stuff is like debris and all of that from your dry corn there you go look at all that brown ugly stuff there so you want to strain all that off again so you could do this like two or three times 
and just clean your comb. You wouldn't feel anything when you put this amount of water in there, but what you're really doing is moving everything up. And I want to hydrate this also. And you're gonna see everything floating to the top, what you don't like. So this one is fairly clean. So there you go. This is my cornmeal now in the bottom. So this looks better. I'm happy with this. So I'm just gonna let this hydrate just as it is. That's that's fine enough to make that lovely cornmeal fry roti. So in here, I have two cups of flour. We're going to make our fry roti now. So I like to give it a good sieve. Let a lot of air get into that flour. So it gives you a good little knead. One teaspoonful of baking powder and a quarter teaspoonful of salt. Let's add that in there. And one teaspoonful of brown sugar. There you go. So you could use your fingers and you could best mix it up. I'm going to go in with about a teaspoonful of oil. And let me just bring this together. So let's add all of that now. Perfect. So when you once the reason behind hydrating before you knead is when you start kneading your flour and you put in that liquid, and you're gonna leave this to soak for like one hour. The corn not being hydrated will just dry up your dough, and you don't want that. So once it's hydrated, it will not pull all the moisture out of your flour. Flour. <laughs> so this is boiling water this is really hot so be very careful I ah, don't get burned and you're not going to do your dough too soft when you're using boiling water to bring your dough together it gets soft because it's hot so when you need it a bit tough and you leave it there to sit for the one hour trust me your dough gets very elastic -y. so this came together very beautiful so let's empty that bowl and let's add some oil inside that bowl that's a generous amount of oil in there because we want to let that rest and now let's just work this dough up we're going to knead this dough for a good five minutes this looks like it's good now it's pretty tough you see it's not taking it's not springing back up very very quickly because i need that dough a bit tough. so now we're going to just roll this in the oil and let this sit for a good one hour. Okay, so we have a generous amount of oil in my mini wok. So now let's just billet the roti out. There you go. Just put some flour. Remember, this is cornmeal. There you go. We do not want to do it too thin because we want it to be a little thick inside. There you go. Now you could make several little ones or you could just make one and cut them in triangles or quarters. So this looks good. I do not want it too, too thin. You see that? That's the size I'm looking for. So all you're going to do is just cut it in four. There you go. And let our oil come up to heat. And then we're going to fry our lovely corn fry bake or fry roti float fry jacks all the names you know it as leave me a comment how you call this i say fry roti okay foodies let's go in goes that on medium heat my oil is hot and nice it's going to come right back up as soon as it's cooked there you go nice little puff beautiful now i like mine brown so let's flip that over another one in there you go and get a beautiful color hold this one down a little bit yep there you go and look at that beautiful look at that big and puffy and nice give this guy a little spin over now and let us get another beautiful color lovely fry roti here cornmeal fry roti fry jacks floats uh fry bake all those names let me know which one you know. Simple and easy do it with that boiling water. So there you go, foodie. My lovely comfort food here as a child. My childhood memory, my childhood favorite dish. Yep, that's my Bodhi and tomato with that fry moko. My fry roti with cornmeal and some lovely chata and char some onions and some lemon juice to enjoy. Lovely dish here from Jenny's Walk. Don't forget to like and share. Join in into Jenny's Walk, Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jenny's Walk, where I'm always bringing great flavors to the table, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking. Enjoy.